hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel so today i have a very interesting video for you guys now the much waited fedora 37 has arrived now in the fedora 37 the main thing is you will get the gnome 43 with lots of changes and improvements what are the new things in the gnome 43 and fedora 37 we will see that and also we will talk about that how you can actually download this and also install in your system Currently, the beta version of Fedora 37 has been released. Soon you will get the latest stable version. And beta version is very, very close to the original stable version. So, just look at the uh, distribution and let's see what are the new changes, what are the new things, what are the tweaks. So, it's very interesting to see. So, don't skip any part of this video. This, are, uh, this, this will be very, very interesting. So before starting the video, one thing you have to do that if you are enjoying this video, then hit the like button and subscribe my channel, hit the notification bell icon so that you will get the notification of my future videos. So without further delay, let's jump into our main topic and let's see that what are the Fedora 37 changes and how interesting uh, is that uh, to look at. All right, so today, <coughs> all right, so you can see that uh, currently uh, I am in Firefox web browser and this is my actually Linux Mint. But first of all, I will show you that uh, from where you can download the Fedora. So I will go to the Fedora uh, official homepage. So just type Fedora and basically you are going to this Fedora. So getfedora.org, this is the website and you are going there. And this is the thing. So you have to download the workstation version, right? So uh, download the workstation, go to the workstation. So workstation basically is it is made for the desktop users. Okay. <coughs> also other um, other uh, versions are available. But and you have to download from here. So if you click download, so you will get that uh, Fedora uh, th 37 beta has been released here and you can download also you can download via torrent right so i'm just downloading this and you can see <coughs> and you can see start downloading also you can, you uh, you may go to the distrowatch.com you can see and here basically you can see that Fedora 37 has been released, the news, and here there is a torrent. You can see this is the Fedora workstation and this is the torrent. So you just click the torrent and uh, this will download the torrent file and uh, then using some uh, BitTorrent client. Uh, so this is the torrent file. Now using some BitTorrent client, you can uh, easily um, download the Fedora, right? So you can uh, do any BitTorrent client, you can see and you can start downloading from here right so this is the qubit torrent i have i am using so this is very very cool all right so you can see basically uh, this is the fedora magazine website and uh, we will see that uh, what are the new things in fedora uh, 37 beta and of course it's a beta release and the gnome 43 included here is also in the beta phase so a lot of bugs you will face while installing or using and i have also faced it i am discussing just so first of all you can see this is the blog of uh, fedora magazine.org and you can see so basically you can download the beta versions from here you can see workstation and server and uh, iot also and basically you can also download some fedora spins now fedora spins are really great now you know that fedora is actually by default it is using gnome 43 but some spins are there that means uh, some uh, other desktop environments suppose kde plasma this is really impressive because the kde plasma uh, actually uh, using the 5.26 version in the fedora 37 so you will get the latest uh, kde plasma but still it is in the beta phase or in the developmental phase uh, 5 kde 5.26 so you can try it actually it will be awesome also you can see xfc uh, desktop and also LXD desktop, LXQT desktop, Mate Compies that means you will get in the Compies you will get the 3D animations right and in the Cinnamon edition also and, and SOAS and i3 tiling window manager and so all these things are Fedora spin so you can try these also in your system and you can actually uh, 
uh, discover some bugs and you can report them so that uh, in the final release uh, those will be uh, get freed up right so basically uh, there will be corrected so now we will see that uh, the beta release highlights what are the changes in the beta edition of uh, fedora 37 so the main thing is gnome 43 of, of course and it is also in the beta phase and you can see some uh, now gtk4 you know that the latest you know using gtk4 so more and more uh, apps have been using uh, gtk4 now okay so gtk4 uh, is really good actually and uh, improved and modern look you will see in this fedora release and other updates now the raspberry pi 4 is now officially supported fedora linux so this is the uh, this is a great thing with accelerated graphics so you will actually uh, you can use the well end session very very uh, uh, good way and now in the arm news the fedora linux has dropped the support of arm v7 architecture or arm 32 you can say so this is the thing and now fedora core os and fedora cloud based os are there and also some release schedule has been done and also python is upgraded to 3.11 perl is 5.36 golang is 1.19 now testing needed because there is a beta version so some bugs uh, you will face now i have inserted my pen drive in the uh, laptop and uh, now let's boot it uh, from the pen drive the fedora os 37 i am pressing f12 in my lenovo laptop so that the boot uh, menu will appear and here we'll see now i have to go to my pen drive it's hp pen drive and just hit enter so you will see this is my ventoy <coughs> actually uh, bootable pen drive okay you can watch the video also so just going to fedora workstation and i'm going to boot this and you will see some options and so test this media or start the fedora so i will just start the fedora beta and you can see it start booting and you can see this is my uefi firmware so lenovo logo has been shown all right so you can see this is the thing so either you can try fedora or you can actually install fedora so i'm just clicking try fedora and basically you just click here try fedora and close it all right so i am doing all these things so by default the touchpad uh, will be disabled but you can enable it very easily so this is you can see this is the very uh, default wallpaper of the fedora uh, desktop you can see and uh, you can see in the above there's the calendar you can see very well all right so brightness you can see maximum brightness is there so i can change my brightness from here i can change my sound from here so you can see now the gnome 43 uh, actually uh, some changes are there so uh, some visual changes are one of them is this now you will see some uh, toggle buttons just like android device and you can see you can just click it and the wi-fi will be off you just click it and it will be on simply in the uh, in this section also you if you click this arrow so some you will see some performance balanced or uh, power saver yeah you will see this okay so and you can also now i'm some lowering the my brightness right and also some night light if you turn on the night light so it will be uh, some reddish color you will see and also airplane mode toggle and dark mode toggle so if you click dark mode you can see that all the theme the icons and also the wallpaper will be changed as the dark mode right and also you can enable the light mode right so that's the very interesting thing to see in the fedora uh, 37 and you can go to the display settings and here basically now here you will see that the the you can change the refresh rate of your desktop if you have gaming laptop so you will get some larger refresh rate here i am getting 60 hertz and 40 hertz and you can also change the resolution of your desktop and also orientation of your desktop right so you can do all the things and suppose i am going to the about section of the settings so here we'll see that the uh, you will see now a gnome version is not available but it is gnome 43 beta okay so beta version is there and you can see my system specification the i3 uh, i3 processor of intel you can see and this is the fedora linux 37 workstation edition you you can see that and it is 64 bit right so all these things you can see now what are the changes in the gnome 43 i i, I will show you 
now first of all uh, this is the look of the um, thing and you will see and this is the wayland session right this is the wayland session default is wayland x or is now outdated for the gnome and you will see some touch gestures now i can show you guys that if i am uh, giving the three fingers and by the three fingers i am just uh, uh, i am just going upward and you you can see so i am just uh, going upward now now this is the better look i think okay you you have to just adjust your eyes and you can see by three fingers i'm just doing the things all right so you can see i'm just doing the things so very smoothly very smooth effects you can see right and also in two fingers or three fingers i can just basically uh, change the workspace so these are very very smooth uh, animations smooth switching uh, using the wayland station right that's the thing so that's the pretty thing and also you will uh, actually now if i right click and go to the change background so you will see a, some great backgrounds now actually uh, theme wise it is also very great now you will see now see uh, carefully very carefully now you will see some wallpapers are there but uh, most of the wallpapers have two variations one is for a light uh, and one is for dark mode basically so light and dark mode have different wallpapers suppose uh, and you can you can uh, ch uh, switch between uh, default dark mode and uh, white mode default mode so suppose i i am just choosing this wallpaper suppose choosing this wallpaper right so you will see that this is the this is the light and if i if i click dark so you can see this thing is dark and also the wallpaper has been changed so this is a great thing great and looking wise it's awesome it's it's looking awesome believe me it's amazing amazing to look actually and now in the sound section in, you can see now you can sound section now there is the system sound and there is the microphone and basically some alert sound is uh, there so you can you can actually listen basically you can listen this string this click this is swear and this is hum so four uh, very cool sounds have been introduced system sounds if you want to install the fedora so you have to just start the installer now you can see this is the great installer anaconda installer and this is fedora 37 so you have to first choose the language then click continue and this is unstable so this is the warning because it is, this is the beta right so you have to just wait for some time to uh, get the final release this, these are the partition manager so you can do uh, any partition and you can install the things i'm not going to install in my real hardware right so just i'm leaving it i'm just waiting it when the full version that is final version will be available i will definitely uh, show you that how to install it right but for now i'm showing you the files that is the nautilus file manager so now in the nautilus file manager you will see some great thing has been done and you can see the nautilus version now this is the 43 beta and if you actually uh, resize it you will see now the side panel will disappear and you will see from here now this way the side panel will appear so that's the cool thing have been introduced in gnome 43 so that's really cool thing and also if i do the list view or now i'm switching list view. now more space is available and you can actually select multiple folders very very easily you can see you can choose the multiple folders very very easy way this is really easy way so these are these are the things in new in this release and so i'm switching to the icons again and you can open in terminal these things you can do always right and also now see now some now the calendar has been improved also here now this is the side now this is the side panel you can see side things now this has been introduced new so september and it is the large one all right so this is very very cool calendar so all the versions you can actually get from the website it is also in 43 beta you can see so and maximum uh, software is using the gtk4 now 
you can uh, see that right and also LibreOffice has been pre-installed in the Fedora but uh, the media all or not all media codecs have been uh, installed in the Fedora you know you have to install the media codecs to play any video or audio especially uh, the th third party codecs are involved where and you can see the version of the LibreOffice is actually 7.4 version so the latest version of LibreOffice you will see uh, here so that's a great thing and uh, very very polished desktop you will see and also you will get the latest Firefox you can see uh, some Fedora image uh, right sorry media writer you can see contacts weather maps and video this is the totem video player the calculator you can see the calculator right and you can see this is the also a uh, new version of the calculator you can see oh my god so that's an awesome calculator you can see so you just uh, search for uh, take a screenshot okay so screenshot so this app uh, you you can actually capture some screenshot so this is the screencast and this is a screenshot but uh, screencast is not that good but screenshot is good yeah you can you can take a screenshot just like this and it is captured and you can uh, see in the files in the pictures right so that's the thing uh, you can do that right and in the system monitor you will see that how much it is consuming our resources so that's the long look at this now you can see ram usage is 1.8 gigabyte so yeah it's normal uh, for an advanced desktop it's uh, 1.8 gigabytes of ram and cpu usage is good so it's really power efficient and also uh, some network usage also you will see from here i am not currently connected to the network uh, fedora using the dnf package installer so just uh, sudo apt dnf update you can do that and also you can find some software in the gnome software all right so that's all for uh, actually fedora 37 you can also install and run uh, some fedora spins also and um, you tell me that how much interesting it to you you just try it the beta version you can try and you can send the bugs uh, whatever uh, you are getting and uh, Tell me about this software, uh, tell me about this operating system in the comment section and that's all for today's video. See you in the next video soon. Till then, goodbye and take care all of you.